Oh boy. <laughs> Have I got a story for you folks, okay? You're gonna get a kick out of this. And not necessarily in a good way, all right? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christopher King. Uh, I have a background in journalism. I was a daily news reporter for the Indianapolis Star. I was a the weekly editor for the Cincinnati version, uh, Cincinnati edition of the Ohio Call and Post newspaper in the 80s, late 80s. Uh, the only statewide black-owned newspaper, actually. Uh, the Indianapolis Star is not. Uh, <laughs> but that's diversity. So anyway... It's not DEI, it's just real diversity, being a real person and caring about people and, and reporting stories. And then anyway, I went to law school, I was an assistant state attorney, and then I was a private practice attorney, and then I've represented homeowners and foreclosure fairness stuff out here. And along the way, I was the first non-commercial journalist, uh, non-corporate journalist to be re recognized by the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. Okay, enough of the qualifications. So now, what, what I've discovered is I get stuff from all over the country. And sometimes I pick stories. Well, I always pick stories because there's nobody else here doing it, you know? Um, so I pick stories that are of social import, all right? And this is about elder abuse and primarily elder abuse and innocent homeowner abuse and the things that these window companies are doing and probably in other trades too, but definitely I'm getting more and more information now. I just got one in and there's more coming. I, I hear about window companies. When they come to your house, they tape record you. Well, it's not tapes anymore, but they digitally record you without your knowledge. Now, you understand there's one-party states, two-party states, all of this. But basically, there are there's a software by a company I think it's called Grosso or Grasso, one of those two. And you'll get this in the next story. I just want to get this up right now. But the bottom line is that they, um, it's an industry software that people can, salespeople use when they come to your point of sale, or the, 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 not the point of sale, but it is a point of sale. They come to your house and they, they bring a unit in, say it's the, a, a laptop or a phone or whatever, and they'll put the laptop down. So there's, let me start at the beginning. When you get to the door, the machinery is already running, okay? And then... In a one-party state, that's fine, arguably, at the door. The homeowner does not know that they're being recorded, but it's still kind of questionable because you're at your house, you know? But this, let's just assume arguendo that it's okay uh, in the presence of the salesperson and you on your porch. Then what happens is they go inside, okay? And they call these porch light sales or something like that? Anyway, they, they go inside the living room or whatever, and the salesperson leaves the device. Salesperson goes out to the car. Salesperson can monitor your ass on the phone and, and eavesdrop right then and there. Yeah, that's what I'm understanding. Oh yeah. And you're sitting there talking about your your most your most precious elements of your financial uh, structure, you know, uh, personal intimate information, and they're listening to it. And there's supposed to be a filter of some kind that the AI is supposed to take out certain things that that are not germane to the conversation about the windows. But that doesn't matter. They're eavesdropping in your own house, right? And they're taking advantage of you. I also understand that what they're doing is they don't deliver the product they say they're going to deliver, a lot of these companies, all right? So I'm not saying that about this company, but I'm hearing that too. So, you know, I'm very clear about what I'm hearing and what's going down. This is a fair and accurate report of what I've seen and what I'm hearing. And this is the part that I will directly attribute to this company is called Ab Abbey Windows. And it's uh, in Wisconsin. So anyway, this is a former employee there. Her, their, their name is Taylor Stepaniewski. It's a female, I think. Um, and so listen to this. Oh. Okay. This, this is on a Google review. Uh, edited to add since they're st still getting truthful reviews removed and getting their employees, friends, and family to add fake ones. So they're paying for reviews, and it's way to hear the text messages, allegedly, from management to this staffer, okay? She wrote uh, the review, this company is hands down the worst company you could ever have the displeasure of working with. For the love of God, go anywhere else. Save your money, your sanity, your time, and effort. If you do happen to still go with this company for whatever reason, they slime balled you with. <laughs> Please do not be fooled by their twist of words when it comes to time to sign the certificate of completion. 
Let me make this bigger so I can see it. Um, I'm getting old. <laughs> oh, I'm 60 is crazy, right? So uh, uh, do not sign the, the certificate of completion until the project is 1,000% done. I don't care if they tell you this is the part we just completed today. It's all a lie. That's how they process your financing. Once they have your money, who cares if, if, if you still have to work to be done? They have your money and have been instructed by the owner to focus on the people that still owe money. Right. So <laughs> if you have a service, you put on the back burner until you start threatening and reporting to the Better Business Bureau. Best of luck, is what she writes. Very accurate report of what they wrote. Okay. Um, oh, and Abby, take your useless season assist letters and shove them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> well, you know, I love this person. So I friended them on Facebook already. This is this is great shit, man. I found them. Uh, uh, y uh, yikes, stay away. Uh, and so there's that piece right there. So let me get right down to the um, actual text message that was indicated to me. This is a, a big surge, you know, boiler room shit, okay? <laughs> boiler room shit here. All right, let the games begin. And this was January 26th of 2023 at 2.24 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed ladies and gentlemen of Abbey Windows, welcome to the first official Google review contest. Plain and simple, whoever can get the most people to leave five-star Google reviews on Abbey Windows and Exteriors uh, Google page will win the grand prize of $100 quick trip, get, quick trip gift card. Um, Boy, the price of your soul is one hundred fucking dollars at this company, right? Oh my god, God, man, I'd rather die with a hot poker in my ass, you know? Just, just, just slice my head off, like run me over with a tractor, you know, and throw me in the bottom of the Loch Ness. I don't know, you know? Oh my god, a hundred dollars. Okay, rules and regulations. Not that you should do it for any amount of money, but for a hundred dollars, oh my fucking god! All right, rules and regulations. We play by street rules. Anything goes. Dollar, dollar, bill, y'all. This is for real, for real. Okay. Dollar, dollar, bill, y'all. Okay. Get creative. This is not a contest to get real reviews from customers. Emphasis in original. Not a contest to get real reviews from customers. This is a contest to get as many reviews on our page as humanly possible from whomever is willing to leave them. And this is the proof, right? You can see right there where they wrote the, uh, the review. You can see it right there. I'm not making this shit up, right? Um, screenshot. Okay. Uh, every device can, every device can contest to get as many. Okay. Yeah. From whoever, every device can leave one Google review. So scour your house, make fake accounts, reach out to everyone, you know, bribe middle schoolers, walk into a bank saying, everybody listen up in order to get them to leave reviews. Again, street rules. Three, every review must be five stars with words. <laughs> no five stars and bounds. It must say something like, gee, golly, my door is the cat's meow. Griffin was fantastic. And Wade's hands are a gift from the Holy Father himself. No crying. You need to let somebody know whenever a review gets posted so he can keep a running tally. The contest begins tomorrow, January 27th, and ends 10 days later at midnight on February 6th. Play hard, play dirty, and the winner will be announced on Tuesday, February 7th. Use this link for easy access to the review le leaving page. You can text it, too. Boom. Let me know if you have any questions. Abbey Windows and Exteriors with the logo right there. All right? Wow. I really... There's nothing more I can say at this point. You heard it. Think of the the multitude of moral, ethical transgressions that we have just witnessed. It, it shocks the conscience. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'm going to kick back and do more research on this. I want to call the companies and get all that stuff, but I'm just kind of like, at this point, I'm sure there's stuff boiling over there. I can't afford another project, but yet here it is. I mean, how could you turn this down? This has to be sent out to people. And we have somebody in Kentucky, I think, is working on this. Um, uh, I put a call out to them when I got this information. And it's a national problem, folks. You're being spied on. Your loved ones are being spied on, especially with these window companies. Um, you know, like I say, I, I explained it already. It's heinous. Okay, ciao. Wow. Just wow.
<laughs> Downfall of man. Just end stage capitalism, whatever. Just foul. Completely foul.